morning, viewers. Uh, thank you for subscribing to the ASFN and the Kingfisher YouTube channels. Uh, we thank you and we appreciate your support. Uh, well, the plan was to go fishing because the lockdown was going to be over. But uh, in day 23, chapter 2, day 23, so there's no fishing for us. Uh, today I'm just going to show you quickly how I pin my bait uh, when I'm fishing for gallery. Um, 90% of the time I like to throw in my baits out for Garrick. Uh, I don't like sliding, I've been successful on, on throwing out a live bait. Um, if the conditions are not favorable and I have to slide, I will slide. It's not that I don't like sliding, but I just enjoy throwing out a bait. Um, I've got a Garrick trace that's already made up here, it's one meter long, it's got a power sole on the end. I'm using a 7.0 and a uh, 6.0 Kernel round master kernel round hooks. Uh, this is my preferred way of pinning a bait. Uh, I find that the hook off rate is actually great and um, I don't miss the fish. So let me show you what it is like when I pin a bait. So this is a mullet that uh, I fished for this morning in my deep freezer. Uh, nice size mullet. So we're gonna basically throw this mullet out for a Gary. So my main hook my holding hook, my carry hook, I basically put it on the top. Everybody opens it on the top. You can put a toothpick before you put it if you if you like and you prefer, but uh, I'm not doing that now. And this is how I'm going to put my second hook, right? I want it to come out at the bottom between these two fins. I want the hook to sit proud there. So I find the bottom in between the two fins this is how I want my hook to sit my hook will sit proud like that for as long as the bait is still swimming and alive and this is what it is like obviously you know when you're fishing for Garrick you're gonna uh, throw a grapnel to hold that in place when the slide bait is moving but I just want to show the action uh, when that Gary comes to pick this fish up, this live bit up, it's obviously going to put its mouth there, it'll want to scale this fish. The top hook may miss it, but once the mouth is in and closes his mouth, this is what it's going to do. When it pulls out, it's going to pull this hook out. Obviously, the hook will come out like that, and that Gary is hooked. The bait is still there. The bait comes out is fine, but the garrick is hooked. The garrick is hooked. Mm -hmm. I've had a lot of success rate on catching my garrick like that. And even uh, if any other fish is in the water, a diamond or anything of that sort that picks up this bait, it's gonna get hooked. So that's the way I actually put my uh, bait for garrick and I've been successful. So I just wanna show it to you all quickly again. This is how the hook sits. This is how the hook sits. The garrick will come past. Pick the bait up, once it decides to swim off, hook is in its mouth and it's hooked solid. So basically it's a one meter trace with two mustard kernel down hooks. You can go 6.0, 7.0, 8.0 with what you prefer just depending on your bait size uh, and your grapnel 8 ounce if you're sliding or if you want to throw it out you can use a 7 ounce, you can use a 6 ounce uh, depending on what you like to, uh, to do and depending on your rod. My tackle of choice uh, when throwing out my bait is my Grand Elite, uh, paired up with my Salter 6500, 40 pound J braid, solid. You will pull a fish like you can't believe it. So once again, thank you for subscribing. Uh, stay safe. Uh, this is the time to obviously sort out all your tackle and be ready and prepared. And uh, just want to thank all the essential workers and service providers out there that is uh, taking a stand during this time of the lockdown. Uh, we appreciate you all and we thank you all for your brave hearts and uh, you all are the superheroes of our nation. So thank you, be safe and uh, see you soon.